Hello my crafty friend. Are you wanting to know how exactly to use sinking whites in your resin and which one to use for which project? Well today we're going to be experimenting with both the Panada sinking white and the Let's Resin sinking white. So buckle your seatbelts. Let's get crafting. Learning resin takes a lot of experimenting and learning how to work with alcohol inks and sinking whites is one of those that it does take some practice, take some time. You're not going to get it just perfect right off the bat. So I want to do some experimenting here to show you the different ways you can use the sinking white with your alcohol inks. And we're doing a little versus here. So the pinata, pinata, I'm not 100% certain how you say it but the Panada Sinking White with the Let's Resin, and this is the version two um, white sinker. So we're gonna see what each of these do with the resin. Alcohol inks, besides being messy, like all of my art projects are, <laughs> you can mix them in with resin and they will be translucent, or you can drip them on top of resin or underneath resin and if you drip them on top of resin, they will they will float there. They will stay where you put them. And the only way to get them to sink is to use a sinking white. So our little experiment here, in the larger one, what we're going to do is use double the amount of sinking white as we do alcohol ink. In the second one, we are going to use the same amount of sinking white as we do alcohol ink. And in the smallest one here, we are going to mix our sinking white in with our resin before pouring it on top of the colors. And then we're just going to let it dry and then see how it all turns out. I've got a little sign here so you know which is which. The panada and then the let's resin. And I have my resin mixed up here. The one I use is called Beast Bond. I like it because it turns out really clear and it's easy to work with. It's a one to one ratio. And I'm just gonna pour it into the molds here before we start with the ink. So for the big one, we're gonna do double the amount of sinking white than we do the color. So I'm going to be using the deep purple. Uh, purple is my favorite color. So I'll use the purple and I'm probably gonna grab another color just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And I'm gonna count the number of drops that I use so that I can double it with the sinking white. And I think a navy blue would be really good. So I'll just let that kind of do its thing for a minute. I love watching it move. I think it's super cool. It's almost like it's got a life of its own. Like those little little amoebas that you can watch in the in the microscopes. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use a dark blue, navy blue, and I'll put four drops of this one too. Alright, so we got eight drops total in each, so we're gonna do 16 drops of the sinking weight. So the panada is first, and you gotta shake these before you use them. All right, now we're gonna do the let's resin. See, and this one already looks different because this one has a little metal spout, so the drops are a little more refined than the dropper one. So this one kind of spread out a little bit more than this one did. So for this middle one, we're gonna do the same amount of sinking white as we're gonna use the alcohol ink. And I think for this one we'll do a green, I have a lime. Green and, yeah, I think green and yellow. We'll do green and yellow. So lemon and lime, that's pretty cool how that worked out. the pen 
Marinara. All right, and now for the Let's Resin. For the small one, we are going to actually mix the sinking white in with some resin before we pour it in there. All right, I'll show you on the side here. The pinata. Okay, that went really weird. It went sideways. I'm just putting enough in there to make it white but not solid, solid white. So it's still like slightly transparent, just slightly. Then I had to use more or less resin than I did the pinata. Still not quite the color one, it's a little too see-through. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. So for this one I use a red and an orange, the mango and the cherry. I'm just going to use two drops of each since it's so small. For this one, I'm just going to drip it with the spatula. I'm really curious what the finished product's going to look like on these. Alright, now the Let's Resin. Try to use the same amount. See, it, it even runs different. Like, this one is runnier than the Panada is. Alright, we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to put these on a level surface to let them dry and then we'll come back in about 24 hours and see what we have. I'm really, really interested to see how different they are. And if you're enjoying this content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I really appreciate it. I'm still working on building my channel. And if you wanna see different projects with resin, the occasional wreath, go ahead, subscribe. I'll be putting more videos out. It has been 24 hours and these are dry now and it's time for the big reveal. So we are going to get these out of the molds and see what they look like. Remember all I did was drip the sinking white. I didn't actually like, stir it around or anything. So this is what happens. This is the panada. And this one looks really cool from the top. See some of the white came to the bottom. It's got some swirl in it there. Right, and this is the Let's Resin. See, that one sank a lot deeper and created those little blotches. This one's a lot clearer. This one ended up being kind of hazy with the sinking white. Interesting. And these are the ones that we did double amount of the sinking white compared to the color. And this one we did same amount of seeking white as compared to the color. Let's see, and that one botched a lot too. They're not pretty hazy. So that's the Let's Resin. Here is the Panada. I actually really like how that turned out. That's really cool. This one turned out more clear. So here's the comparison on these. Let's Resin and Panada. All right, and these are the ones that we mixed the resin in with the seeking wet before putting it in here. So that's the Let's Resin. And it all just stayed at the bottom there. And here's the Panada. It all stayed at the bottom as well. All right, I'm gonna do another experiment. I want to do the same thing, but I want to stir and see what happens. Oops, put those backwards. So that's the panada. That's the let's resin. Alright, let's move on to the second experiment. So for this experiment, in the big one, I'm going to use the same amount of sinking white as the alcohol ink because I think that turned out less cloudy. So I think it'll work better for when we're gonna stir. So this first one's gonna be the same amount of sinking white as alcohol ink, and we're gonna stir it. The second one's going to be mixing the sinking white with the resin before we put the sinking white in. 
and the third one I'm actually going to let the third one sit for longer I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes before I stir it so it's gonna be the same as the second one but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to stir it so that way the resins going to harden up just a little bit more and be a little bit thicker before I stir so I'm interested in seeing how that's gonna work out so let's get going on this second experiment. I think I'll just use one color in these and for the large one I'll use the blueberry. Actually I think I'm gonna add some more ink since it is so so the square is so big. Let's do 12 drops of the panada. Twelve. And now the let's resin. Right, and the next one. I just have little cups of resin I'm gonna add the sinking white to and I'm gonna make them both about the same consistency of looking still slightly see-through but it's white but it's not like pure white I need just a little more let's resin I think I had a little bit more resin in there about the same consistency there. We'll do the panada first. Pinata, panada. All right, so we're just pouring some in here. I'm gonna do kind of a swirl. And now the let's resin will do the same thing. You can also put these in like a piping bag or use a little, um, let's see, like one of these little squirty things. But for this experiment, I'm just dripping it in there. Alright, and now we're going to move on to the small ones. This one, I'm not going to do a specific design, just going to get it in there. Remember these are going to, the small ones are going, oops, the small ones are going to be sitting here before I stir them. Okay, and last but not least, what I love about resin is the uniqueness. Like it all really does depend on like what kind of resin you're using, uh, what brand of resin, because the brands are different. You know, they'll have different working times, they'll have, they'll have different ratios. And then the amount of time that you let it sit, that factors in the kind of coloring you use. But what I really love about it is each piece is so unique. You know, you can try to do something exactly the same, but it might turn out different. I just think that's really cool. All right, now we're going to stir. We're going to stir these two because I want this one left sit for a little while for it to get a little bit thicker before we stir it. I've got two spits. I gotta figure out a design. So for this, I think I'm gonna do it kind of like go in and then out like that. So. Try not to hit the bottom of the molds because the toothpicks will scratch it. I'm gonna do just a little swirl like that. Let's try to do the same thing with this one, the Let's Resin one. For this middle one, we'll do push it in, make it
in here. It's already been sitting here for probably like 10 minutes, so we'll come back in about 20 minutes to mess with this one. It is time to make little designs in these small ones. Just gonna poke at it a few places. Kind of in a circle motion. Alright, and we'll come back tomorrow for the results of our second experiment. So stick with me. These are dry now. I went ahead and took them out of the mold so you didn't have to sit and wait for me to demold all of them. So we'll go ahead and look at the final results here. And here we go. That's pretty cool, huh? I don't know how it does the whole uh, flower looking thing, but that's like super cool. And it brought up more. So that's what happens when you stir it. Here is the Let's Resin. And that one still came out blotchy there. It kind of did the same flower design. And this one, remember, we did the same amount of the color as we did the sinking white. And look how much uh, more of the color got brought up with the Let's Resin. And more of the white came, and more of the, co the color stayed at the bottom with the panada. And for these, we had mixed the sinking white uh, with the resin before we poured it in there. But in this one, we let sit longer before we stirred it. So let's see how the panada looks. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Alright, and this is the Let's Resin. And that looks pretty much exactly the same as the banana. How interesting, huh? Alright, and this is when we let it sit for a little while before we stirred it first. So, the panada. Yeah, see, it didn't, it didn't saturate it near as much. Alright, let's resin. Well, that is really cool looking. Pulled up more of the color than the Panada did. I hope this gives you a really good idea of how Sinking White's going to interact with the resin and the colors and helps you on your next project. Thanks so much for joining me. See you on the next one. Bye!